Hi, my name is John White, and thanks for viewing my introduction to a guide to passing the HVAC exam. After teaching students to get their air conditioning and heating license for over 30 years, I developed a home study course that allows you to learn at your own pace. One of the biggest problems with a crash course is the information is fed to you so fast that it's almost impossible for the average person to absorb it all. Attempting to learn HVAC math, load calculations, duct design, psychometrics, pipe sizing, vent sizing, ventilation requirements, business math and accounting in a one or a two day class is almost impossible. Therefore, I developed a home study course that allows you to take your time and go back as many times as necessary until you have the material down pat. So let's take a look at what you'll learn. Chapter 1 will teach you all you need to know about calculating the load according to Manual J. What is a load calculation? Why perform a load calculation? And principles you need to know to understand a load calculation, such as laws of thermodynamics, type of heat, BTUs, R values, U values, HTMs. Then we'll go on to perform both a heat loss and a heat gain calculation. Chapter 2 contains useful formulas needed to perform a load calculation, including those needed to calculate the area, the volume, U values, HTMs, and CFM. Chapter 3 goes into Manual N, which is commercial load calculations. It addresses the time of day, internal loads, peak loads, various infiltration and ventilation scenarios, and satisfying humidification requirements. Chapter 4 will teach you how to size ducts in three easy steps. You'll determine the available static pressure for building the duct system, the adjusted static pressure, which is also called the friction rate, and calculate the CFM per room. You will size ducts using both a friction chart and a ductulator. And finally, you'll learn to determine acceptable air velocities within the duct. Chapter 5 teaches you how to use a cyclometric chart to determine the properties of air. In addition, you'll learn to determine the health and capacity of an air conditioner using a psychometer. Also included is a smack of table of the symbols used on mechanical drawings. Chapter 6 teaches business and law according to NASCA's publication, Contractor's Guide to Business, Law, and Project Management. you learn business terminology, double entry accounting, understanding financial statements, how to estimate and price a job, the way it must be done on the exam not the way you've always done it. You also learn to calculate payrolls along with withholding taxes, Social Security, and Medicare payments. Questions arising from the residential code will be addressed in our discussion of the mechanical, fuel gas, and energy codes. The energy code is a massive code that tackles every building component that affects energy usage. This chapter picks and chooses only those provisions that relate to the HVAC system. The guide has condensed the energy code to only a few pages, making it easy for you to simply memorize what you need to know for the exam. Chapter 10 covers the mechanical code. Most exam questions from the mechanical code will be lookup type questions. Once you've taken the 150 question practice exam, you will become very familiar with the code's provisions along with where they are located in the code. In addition, there's a number of tables and formulas that you'll need to learn for the exam. The guide will guide you through them. Most provisions of the fuel gas code are also covered with our 150 question practice exam. Below are topics covered in depth that trip up many examinees. Combustion air, gas pipe sizing, vent and vent connector sizing. Appendix A contains questions covering what you have learned so far. Finally, you will take a 150 question practice exam that covers the entire gamut. The questions have been strategically selected to help you learn the provisions of the code and where to find the answers. In addition, you'll be required to answer load calculation, duct sizing, and business questions. All questions have the answers and how or where they can be found. Thanks for viewing my presentation. My course is available as an instant download as a spiral bound hard copy. 
If you opt for the download, I recommend you print it out. It's about 100 pages. If you opt for the hard copy, the delivery time is three to five business days. To learn more or to order this course, please go to www.hvaclicensing.com. Thank you.